Welcome back you guys. So today we're going to be working on an M&P 9mm 2.0 and this is going to be a pretty advanced build and I'm pretty excited so I really want to take you guys through this. Let me just kind of give you the thought pattern before we start and um, then we can kind of just see it as it unfolds. So the first thing that we want to do is remove the text. Um, that's usually the number one request I get from people is I don't want the writing on the side of my gun that came from the manufacturer. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be shaving these sides down. We're going to use a ball nose that's going to come right down through here. We're not going to hit this logo. It's going to come right through here. It's going to do a turn and it's going to come right down this edge. And we're also not going to hit the front grips that are right here, these little serration marks. So that's going to allow us to get rid of this kind of weird cupped zone area that's on both sides. It's going to make it much more firm and square for your hands. So you'll, you'll get a better position with your hands on it, um, especially if you're cycling this way um, to the rear. Definitely going to change that a lot. Now, the other thing that we want to do on the sides is put a, um, a long window. So we're going to have a window on this side, and of course we have a window on the other side, and that will be um, slanted forward. So we're going to see it slanted this way and slanted that way. And then, of course, that will be uh, chamfered all the way around on that, so it's, it'll have a nice... Uh, cup down effect on there. Now the other thing that we're going to be doing on the sides which makes this, this style so unique is we're going to be doing the uh, knurling on the side. So you're going to see a checkering pattern which is going to come from the back zone here up to somewhere in this zone. We don't really want to get down into here because it's a, there's a height difference here. So somewhere up into here and here um, we'll do a nice pattern where it tapers off and we're going to do a, a checkering knurling uh, pattern in here in this zone same thing over here we're gonna go ahead and remove that existing uh, logo they have and it'll be from here up into this zone here now that's gonna kind of wrap up the sides now as far as the top goes we're gonna do the same uh, checkering knurling on the top and the back section here and then we're also gonna do the same on the front section here and we're also gonna add a, a window so there's gonna be a window up here we're gonna have our, our knurling here knurling here knurling all the way down through here so this is gonna be quite a unique build um, and it's gonna be pretty aggressive on your hands I think on the front zone on the top and then of course on the side so not only are you gonna get the grip effect from the factory you're also gonna get the checkering that's gonna be up into here and you're gonna get some nice square squareness right up in here so you're gonna this is gonna be a very aggressive approach right in through here um, which is gonna be pretty nice uh, you know, depending upon what you're doing with the uh, with the firearm, whether you're you know running some competitions or you're just wanting an extra um, you know a little bit of handle for your hand. So um, so guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get you over to the Tormach. First and foremost, we're gonna shave both the sides. We're gonna take care of those windows. We're gonna chain for that, and then we're gonna move on to the knurling parts. And uh, we'll just take you guys through that process and uh, see what we come up with.
All right, guys, well, that concludes the project. This is one of the craziest pistols I have built in a long time, regardless of brand. I do a lot of Glocks, but I'll tell you what, this M&P is straight up disgusting. It is just amazing. I'm just loving this thing overall. I have two MEP 2.0s myself. What it comes out being is one of my buddies is borrowing the shorty. So we went ahead and put the barrel in it and the frame from the long one on here. So obviously this is sticking out a little bit at the end, but it's going to give you an awesome visual of exactly what we built here. And I'm going to be honest, this is, this is just straight up amazing. I am just so impressed with with the design with the work with the fit the finish the overall uh just appearance i mean it's i don't know i mean you guys know me i'm a glock guy but i'm gonna tell you what this this is like a game changer this this truly is unique to the market this is a um, you know a new design this isn't like a regurgitated we're gonna build this off of someone else's design i mean this was a straight up new design something you guys just don't see any you know anything like that anymore it's just just I'm just, I'm almost at a loss for words. I'm a, I'm a speaker. You know, if you guys had seen me at the, at the gun show, then you'd know that I'm a talker. We can talk all day about all kinds of stuff. Um, but I truly am at a loss for words on the beauty of this pistol. I mean, it, it is just, um, it's, it's to the point right now where my friend has mine, this pistol, um, this slide model that he has mine and I'm ready to get it back and start cutting now. Like I want to just like today, I need to go get it. I need to get over to the CNC and I need to start cutting. Um, Couple changes I will make on mine, of course, um, but that comes with the with the uh, with the understanding of a project. You know what I mean? You build something, you decide, oh, I like this a little bit different, or maybe we'll change something there just a little bit a little bit different. So of course we're going to make some changes on mine. But overall, guys, you can expect to see another one of these with some minor changes. We're also going to do some barrel work. I'm looking for an aftermarket barrel, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end up going with a longer barrel like this because I want to actually go ahead and show some barrel and cut the barrel on the end um, and some things like that. So you're gonna see something very similar to what you're looking at right now will be on mine. But man, I'm just I am so excited about um, about this build, just overall getting it back to the customer, letting them show it off, letting them have it. I mean, this was their creation. And uh, at the end, you know, we're reaping the benefits of a product um, that they had a vision on that I executed. So um, just, just beautiful. But um, guys, if you haven't seen the other stuff that we've turned out, go back and watch it. We've got a lot of cool content on uh, Instagram and on Facebook. We got a lot of cool pictures. You're actually going to see that we posted a, uh, a real small clip of uh, sandblasting this slide uh, the other day. So I give you know, an opportunity to see something a little bit before it becomes out. But, um, but guys, go check us out over there. Uh, feel free to go to our contacts page, reach out to us. And uh, if you have any questions about you know pricing or something like that, turnaround, uh, maybe a project, maybe something you haven't seen before, maybe you got a design that you want to execute and uh, put onto something, uh, you know, reach out to us, get that information uh, turned back over to you, and see if we can put you know put something together and build something for you. But, but guys, you know what? You can always catch me on the next video. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. But this is a killer slide. Uh, just overall, I mean, I, I even like the lower. I'm, I may just switch mine up as well. I've got a black and, a, and I've got one in this color as well. So, um, but uh, mm, 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 mm. I'm, I'm just loving this thing. Guys, I'm going to catch you on the next one.